you're on your motorcycle and you get a flat tire or maybe you've just got a low tire but you're on the side of the road let's say you got a flat tire maybe you plug it but how the hell are you going to air up the tire let's talk about it hey everybody welcome back to cruise man's reviews today we have the fantic x8 apex air inflator and uh, some of you will remember my recent review of the t8 apex jump starter from fantic which uh, i was pretty impressed with the design of that well i finally got in the air inflator let's open up this box see what's inside okay so let's uh, just take my little pocket knife here i'm sure i'm going to need it well, maybe not. Well, let's see if we can't. I'll tell you what, I, I'm very impressed with their packaging. They really, they really didn't spare any expense on packaging. Pretty tight fit on this one. Let's see if I can get it out. Come on, dude. Seriously? After I just complimented you on your wonderful... How the hell? Okay, it's coming. Jesus. Okay, there we go. Okay. As you can see, really nice, classy... Pack it. Better be a tire inflator. That's all I got to say. Okay, here is the unit itself. So, man, is it? It's pretty heavy. It feels substantial. Okay, what? Okay, this is the unit itself. And there's some goodies down here in the box, I think. If I can get this to come out. Yeah, let's see what we got. Got a hose. We've got, feels like a bag of some kind. Yep, got a little storage bag, and I think that's it. Uh, looks like maybe a USB charging cable. No, I don't know. I have to open that up and look at it. There is an instruction manual. You know me, I never read manuals. I just a uh, nice little bag, just kind of like the bag that came with the uh, the jump starter, which is nice. And that's it. Okay, so let's put all that off here. Let's take a look at what's in here. Okay, we do have a USB cable, and it looks like we have a a needle uh, to like inflate, I guess like a basketball or a football or something like that, like a some sort of a little inflator like that. And then let's see, it would appear that this would screw into, surely I can figure this out without help. I'm guessing this goes in here like this. Probably be easier to turn it this way, wouldn't it? So you could leave this off when you're not using. Okay, now this is for charging this unit. This, what's unique and what I love about this, this is a wireless tire inflator. If this works, this is going to be super cool because what it means is you charge this, it's rechargeable. So you don't have to have a big, long wire going to like a cigarette lighter adapter or anything like that. It, it will hold enough of a charge to air up the tires. We're going to put that to the test. Now, they claim that this will go up to 150 PSI, which more than I'll ever need on a motorcycle. And they claim it's twice as fast. I'm not sure twice as fast as what. And... Um, 
you know, they claim it can be used on just about any kind of tire, bicycles, motorcycles, cars. We're going to test it on a car and we're going to test it on a motorcycle. I'll test it on my front and my rear tire. I want to know if this can air up the front and the rear tire on a single charge. Now, I don't even know if this thing's fully charged. We will fully charge it before we take it out to the garage and test it. I'm going to go ahead and try to turn it on. There's a power button here, and it looks like a four-way select switch. I'm not sure what all these do yet. I haven't read up on it yet. Okay, it is powered up. It looks like it's got maybe, oh, a 50% or maybe not even that much, maybe 40% charge out of the box. Um, it says here... 35 PSI. I'm not sure if that's a preset. I know that you can preset certain uh, uh, PSI settings, I believe. Uh, let's just look. Yes, you can uh, bump up. So if I want to put in 42 PSI or 41, you just put it in here and I'm assuming that it will get to that level and then stop. We'll put this to the test. I'll let you know. You also, in addition to that, on the back side of this is where you have your USB port for charging and you have a USB output. So just like their jump starter, if you need to use this as a backup charger for like your cell phone or some other device, you can plug uh, a USB cable into this and charge your phone or some other body. It, it works like basically like a little battery because it is a battery pack. Okay, so also another cool feature is it has, just like the jump starter, it has a flashlight built in. Very cool. So if you're on the side of the road in an emergency, uh, you've got, you can use this as a flashlight. I'm not sure if it has any of the emergency fun. It does. It actually has a flashing light. Yeah, it's got just those two settings, the flashing and the uh, flashlight. So that's very cool. So it's got that. Um, you know, I don't know what all these other things do, but I guess this is the airing. Is that the... I don't know. I guess I'm going to... Oh, it kind of it kind of gives you little symbols here. Uh, are you airing up, in this case, like a, a ball, a basketball? Um has a car, it has a scooter, I guess it's also a motorcycle, a bicycle, and then the little basketball symbol. I'm going to look up and see what all those refer to, and at, once I read this manual, because I just got the manual, and uh, I'll let you know more details. But I'm going to put this on the charger, we're going to let it fully charge, and then we'll head out to the garage, take all the air out of my motorcycle tires, we're going to see if this will air up my tires. Fantic X8 Apex wireless tire inflate. Let's get to the garage. So I'm out in the garage. I've got my front tire here. We're going to let the air out of this front tire. I'm just going to use a 3 millimeter. plug this in and we should be able to see what our current air pressure is. So I'm going to turn this unit on. Okay, I can see here that it is at full battery power. I haven't plugged in the air hose yet so I can't see my current air pressure. And I'm going to go down to 39 pounds. Now, I'm using this in manual mode. I, there's actually four different modes here for motorcycles, bicycles, cars, footballs, basketballs, things like that. But I'm just going to do manual. I just want to uh, increase the pressure manually. And basically, it should use this 39 PSI as the guide. So when it gets to 39 PSI, it should stop inflating. So let's, uh, I'm going to go ahead and plug it in here or get it screwed on. Okay, it's on now. And as you can see, it is at 39 pounds. Now this thing might get pretty hot. 
while I'm using it. So I don't want to, um, I just don't want to keep it in my hands. I don't know how hot it's going to get, but it does kind of warn you that it can get very hot. So I'm going to put the uh, camera back here where we can kind of see it as it's running. And you might be able to get an idea for how loud it is just by uh, listening to it as it's running. So let's fire it up and see what happens. It only took about two and a half minutes to completely fill the front tire to 39 pounds. Okay, it did stop automatically. It stopped on 40, even though I had set it to 39. I'm thinking maybe it's doing that. Well, no, it kicked back to 39. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off and we'll take a look at this. It's not really that hot. In fact, it's almost cool to the touch. This is where the vent is on the sides and I don't, it just doesn't feel that hot. It was, it was warm, but not bad. Now it's, it's about 70 degrees in the garage right now. You can see that it used about one quarter of the power as shown here, but it did get it up to 39 PSI. And of course the timer on the screen tells you how long that took. Um, it's noisy, but I've heard much noisier ones than this. Now what I want to do is I want to let the air out of the rear tire and see if this has enough juice to also air up the rear tire. I'm going to let it cool down just a little bit before I do that. I'll go ahead and turn the unit off by holding down the power button and let it cool down for maybe five minutes. Now we're going to let the air out of the rear tire. And I'm going to set the unit for 41 pounds. I keep 41 in the rear tire, so we'll see if it will go to 41 with the amount of battery power it has left. That's pretty much at zero right there. Okay, that's on. Now let's get our unit over here where we can see it. I also don't want this laying on its side because it does have vents on the side. But I will show you here. You just hit the plus button and I can kick it up to 41 PSI. I'm not sure if you can see, get focused on that or not. But we'll keep an eye on it. Let's see how long it takes to air up the rear tire. I'm just going to hit the power button. I sped up this section of the video, but honestly, I was pretty impressed that the rear tire was completely full after just over six minutes. Okay, well, as you can see, it once again went one pound over, and I think it's doing that because it assumes you're going to lose a little air when you unhook this uh, very impressive, actually. Um, now, the hose is a little warm. Not terrible, but it is warm. The unit itself, though, never got really that hot. I was kind of surprised. I thought it would be so hot you couldn't touch it. But, but as you can see, I can still hold it in my hand, no problem. It's really not that hot. Okay. As you can see, if we look at the unit now, you can see that we're at about 50% battery power. I'm pretty confident that we could air up a third tire if we had to. I'm not sure if you could do a whole set of four tires on one charge, but that'd be a pretty heavy lift for any battery operated um, inflator. Still, it's very impressive that I could air up both my motorcycle tires on one charge still have 50% power, so I'd still have enough power to maybe help charge a cell phone, use the built-in flashlight. Uh, let's just see if that's still uh, working. Yes, I still have the flashlight. I can use it. Very cool. And um, 
I'm pretty impressed. Now, it's not hot at all. In fact, it's actually kind of cool. The warmest part is up here on the hose, but even, even that is not hot. I promise you, purely by coincidence, Ricky was driving her mom's 2007 Mercury Grand Marquis, and when she got home, she had a completely flat tire. What better chance to test out this X8 Apex? I'm going to go ahead and hook it up to the valve stem. I've got it sitting up on top of this box uh, just because I don't want the, the uh, hose to stretch while it's uh, sitting on the ground. And let's see how long it takes to air up a car tire to about 34 pounds. So instead of videotaping the entire air up, uh, I did a time lapse video and I kind of wish now I had had a little clock or timer sitting there where you could see how long it took. I did time it. It took about nine minutes for it to air up this tire. And when this LED readout is out in the sunlight, it does some funky things with the video. But as you can see, the unit is at about 50% power. It took about 50% power to bring one car tire up to 33 pounds. Let's head back to the studio for some final thoughts. Okay, so just got done airing up the car tire with this X8 Apex from Fantic. What are my thoughts on this unit? Honestly, I love it. Um, it's a good size. It It's going to fit perfectly in my saddlebag on my Goldwing. I think any motorcycle that has saddlebags, you could easily carry this. It's maybe not as compact as some other um, air compressors I've seen, but the fact that it's rechargeable and battery operated to me and cordless, I don't have to keep up with cords. I don't have to have a cigarette lighter adapter on my motorcycle. I like the fact that it has a built-in flashlight just in case you were uh, on the side of the road at night in the dark and you needed a flashlight, you'd have it. You can also charge up other items from this uh, as a kind of a battery pack. It never got too hot, even though I aired up two motorcycle tires within five minutes of each other. And I also aired up the car tire, which took about almost 10 minutes, and it still never got that hot. Um, I am very, very impressed with this item. Now, I will put links in the description of this video where you can order this from the Fantic website using a coupon code where you'll get a discount uh, as a Cruise Man's Garage subscriber. I'm planning on probably ordering a second one of these for the car because, like I said, Ricky just had a flat tire. When she pulled in the driveway, that tire was completely flat. So if she had been on the side of the road and she had had this, she could have aired up the tire. Now, it took a while, but so what? I think any portable air compressor is going to take the same amount of time. I don't even think it's that loud. I was, I was expecting to be much, much louder. Hey, I realize this was kind of a long video, but I think this is a very important topic. So I look forward to reading your comments down below. What have your experiences been uh, if you've had flat tires on your motorcycle? How did you get the tires inflated? Do you have some sort of a portable tire inflator? This is the one I'm going to use. So thank you to Fantic for sending this out for us to review today. And I'll see you on the next Cruise Man's Reviews.